Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Um, again, a lot of green candles here again, but for me, this is still predominantly bearish, as I said in yesterday's video. Um, for me, much more needs to happen to get a more bullish view on XRP. Of course, there is a potential that this is a breakout and you will remember that is why this area is marked here as support area. We talked about this support area before. And from here, XRP showed a reaction and started to do a little bit of a move yesterday to the upside. Um, the question is, is this, is this the sustainable move up or not? Simply, or simple question we don't know yet. Um, at the moment, this is just a three wave move and it suggests at the moment Unless we see now a fifth wave up, it would suggest that we will um, head down lower as long as we stay below 51 cents. If we get above that level, then yeah, surely, you know, then it is five waves up and we need to consider something more bullish, especially if we take out the wave too high at 52 cents. Um, but I would also want to see a move up above the 56 cent level. It would need to be a substantial move, to be honest, because... Um, we can count this as an impulse up yeah, and then the wave two down here and we would now be in the wave three but it would need need to go to i think we measured it yesterday around 70 cents problem is with a bullish um, alternative here is that we have various one two setups here we had a one two one two one two no sorry one two one two one two one two so we have a lot of one two setups here for and if you have more than three, it always gets unrealistic, right? Um, so this can work out. And if we have four one two setups, it would be a very bullish setup. I have my doubts about it. I rarely see them work out. And also this just the way four high here, which would suggest a way five to the downside is still coming. is just not high enough to dismiss a bearish option. And um, all you need to remember is that just because we had another pump here, one sunny day doesn't really make a summer okay yeah it can become a summer but it just doesn't mean that you know just because we see a bit of a green candle here it must be the breakout or something right so best in my opinion here again be patient see the market play out and then take decisions accordingly as soon as we have more clarity for me this is not convincing that it's bullish therefore i see no reason to be long myself here um Generally, long term anyway, the chart is not showing the strength I would like to see. Don't get me wrong, I own XRP as well. I'd be the most happy person if it goes up, um, but um, just don't see it yet. Yeah, we always want to be objective here. So um, as long as you are in a downtrend, you need the downtrend invalidated also to become more bullish, right? Um, and all you need to see the clearer patterns, but I don't see them yet, Not especially not given the larger uh, structure because whatever's happening here i can't ignore all the messy price action that happened here this is strongly bearish so let's see but overall you know in the short term we can say that this to the upside was a way for abc um, and then we're coming down now in an impulse one two already done we're now in wave three and within wave three you have subways as well wave one done wave two done should be done if it if it's not done it's something different because this is an ABC pattern and this wave 2 can't really go any higher because it would then take out that previous wave too high and would invalidate that particular one two setup so we need to take it from there then but th the point is if we break above that 50 um, 51 cent level key resistance then will be the 56 cent level and if we take that out yeah we could in be in something more bullish that could be a breakout Already here we have a breakout about 51 cents. Just need to understand that because as I said, you know, this could be a break. I'm not I'm not denying this could be a one, two, one, two setup. And we came down to support. Yeah, we reacted to it. So quite a bit of a strong move, but at the moment, and that's what you need to understand, it's only a three wave move. And we could say it's going down below or against 51 cents. If that gets broken, yeah, sure. You know, 56 is next. And then we could even go higher to around 70, 75 cents, as I said in yesterday's video, just to give you a bit of a uh, bit of a view here, a bit of guidance. Should the bearish count work out? Should we get rejected from where we are now? 
where would the target for that uh, circled wave three be? Well, the minimum I'd say would be, yeah, no, I'd, I'd be a bit, bit short here. If we only get to 40.6 cents, the one to one ratio, ideally would be 30 or ideal would be 34.2 cents, the wave three. But again, bear in mind, that's not gonna happen in one straight line. There will be ups and downs along the way, but lower lows, lower highs would be the way to go here. Okay, and that's my update about XRP. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.